2008 game sales reached 21 billion. We play sells 5.28 million. So 2008, it looks like there's a very good chance that will be the peak for at least a little bit. We Play is the game that will not die, or at least would not die in 2008. Microsoft deleting 5,000 jobs after profits slip. They're making money, obviously they have Windows, which is a huge product, and so they've got billions and billions of dollars, but they're still laying off people. Microsoft, you know, is, you know, even though they're profitable, the fact they're cutting jobs, that's just like a bad sign for the industry as a whole, and games in particular. U.S. retail PC game sales down 210 million in 08. That number's a little misleading because almost everybody's getting their stuff online now, so it's a kind of a shift in the market. Sony announces restructuring, $2.9 billion loss. Sony had been profitable since 1995, and that was the first time they had announced a loss since then. The PS3 has been weighing heavily on Sony, I guess you could say. Uh, for the first time this console generation, Sony really is competing on, on even footing now. Rumor confirmed, Microsoft Flight Sim Studio closing. It always seemed to me that the Flight Sim Studio wasn't even really part of Microsoft games. It, it, was, it was like Excel. It's the fact that Microsoft was just calling its in-house development talent. EA suffers $641 million Q4 loss, increases layoffs to 11%. This year started bad for a lot of people. Rarely has the mighty fallen so quickly. Activision Blizzard post Q4 loss despite record revenues. Activision started out the year a little bit better, yet they're still mysteriously kind of losing money. X Obsidian developer says Aliens RPG canceled. The Aliens game license is almost as cursed as the Spawn game license, I think. That was a real big blow just because the Fallout, all the Fallout developers at Obsidian are a really talented group of people, and a lot of people, myself included, who are totally obsessed with the Alien movies, we're really looking forward to seeing kind of those two things come together. Rumor, Microsoft motion sensing deal confirmed? Microsoft's terrible about keeping secrets, so we knew about Natal essentially all the way back in February. Microsoft made the move to buy this Israeli company who specializes in these kind of, um, you know, motion sensing cameras. GDC 2009, on live unveils on-demand game streaming. Uh, this has the potential to either be one of the most revolutionary things in gaming, or one of the most colossal wastes of venture capital in the history of mankind. It seems like there's going to be a lot of lag, and OnLive is kind of promising that you'll be able to play all these, you know, really powerful or at least high-performance games, um, you know, seamlessly. And you know, whether or not that pans out, we'll, I guess, we'll we'll find out. GDC 2009, new DS Zelda announced. Wii ships 50 million. Well, Iwata was back at GDC kind of, you know, rubbing it in everybody's faces that, hey, Nintendo is filthy rich. What do you think is powering this train? Puppies? Sony dropping PS2 price to $99.99. It's about time. Didn't this happen like five years ago? Rumor, Blizzard denies next Xbox rumors. That, came, that, that rumor started at a bloggers event where an overenthusiastic blogger basically thought, next Xbox. Will Wright leaves EA, found Stupid Fun Club. We're not making that name up, Stupid Fun Club. That's actually the name of the think tank, a think tank called the Stupid Fun Club. Can you believe that? A think tank. Yeah, Will Wright is he's kind of an out there kind of guy. Chinatown Wars sells under 90,000 units in March. That was a tragedy. NPD Resident Evil 5 infects 1.5 million. March game sales sink 17%. Whoa, where did that come from? And so begins the great game slump of 2009. Rumor, UMD less PSP2 due by early November? UMD less PSP? Nonsense. Never happened. Thief 4 officially uncloaked. I have really high hopes for this one. And it's weird that it's going to come out from Square Enix now. That's just... weird. NPD, US April sales slide 17% as the DS tops 1 million. 3D Realm still in business, $20 million Duke Nukem Forever bill revealed. It's hard to not think of this company as a joke at this point. Rumor, Call of Duty Cold Warfare next up for Treyarch? I'm tired. A World War II shooters. I, I think a lot of gamers are tired of World War II shooters. You can go to the Congo, you can go to Cuba, you can go to Vietnam. That would be great. A really great way to get out of the World War II rut that basically all the Treyarch games have been stuck in. Motion sensing camera, Xbox 360 MGS debut at Microsoft E3 event. Microsoft had uh, Project Natal, uh, a Metal Gear Solid Rising, Crackdown 2, Halo Reach, The Beatles come out on stage, Left 4 Dead 2, Crackdown 2, like a, a little boy simulator, New Metroid, Mario Galaxy, and Wii Vitality Sensor headline the Nintendo E3 event. Mario, Mario, Mario. Finally at last we have a technology for Wii Polygraph. PS3 motion controller revealed, God of War 3 due in March. A UMD-less PSP. Who could believe that?
Of the three motion sensing systems, this one looks the craziest, but it looks like it's gonna work the best. E309 tops 41,000, E310 already booked. We're back, baby, E3 is back. Square Enix retires IDOS publishing label. Once one of the biggest game publishers on the planet now is now officially Square Enix Europe. It's gonna be weird not having IDOS around anymore. Midway Chicago HQ closing, final buyout price 49 million. Midway was another publisher that went under this year. They just didn't make it, and so and it went to the highest bidder. It was a fire sale. For me personally, I'm not sure if anything was as depressing as the death of Midway. June US game sales shrink 31% as prototype triumphs. I mean, summer is never really a great time for game sales. Oh my god, the sky is falling. July US game sales shrink 29%, Wii Sports Resort on top. You know that scene in the Hudsucker Proxy when the guy gets up on the conference table and jumps out the window? US PF3 sales up 300% at top retailers. Yeah, so apparently if you make a system affordable, lots of people who can now afford it will buy it. We officially $200 starting September 27th. Hey, Nintendo joins the price cut party, finally! PSP Go launch adds 100 plus games to PSN. All right, the PSP Go is the first dedicated gaming machine that's downloadable content only. So it's nothing without downloadable games. So the fact that they started it off with over 100 games was good news. The Wii has stalled. So in early 2007, I think, there started to be a bit of a backlash against the Wii. Obviously, Nintendo isn't stupid. They know that Wii sales are not what they were uh, in 2008. They've tapped it out. Everyone's got a Wii already. DSi XL hits US and EU markets Q1 2010. DS sales top 113 million. So while most technology seems focused on getting uh, more compact, uh, Nintendo in their Blue Ocean strategy has decided, no, man, we're going to make this thing like bigger. It's so large. I Rumor, Modern Warfare 2 Massacre sequence confirmed and skippable. Basically, you go into an airport and shoot up a lot of innocent people. It really calls into question, like, what was the purpose of this level? Was it an intellectual exercise, kind of taking you in the mind of the terrorist? They were pushing buttons a lot more than pushing boundaries. EA cutting 1,500 jobs, over a dozen games canceled. Yeah, EA started off the year on a bad note and are basically ending, ending the year on a terrible note as well. That is one crappy lump of coal to leave in 1,500 different Christmas stockings. Take-Two shares lose 30% and analysts react. It was a bad week for Take-Two. Moral of this story is analysts are still issuing predictions. They were saying the stock was going to go up to $15 a share. They were saying buy, buy, buy. And then whammo, here comes this earnings, this earnings report, which basically shows that they're going to come anywhere near that. And as a result, it was, you know, sell, sell, sell. Rumor, Logitech prepping a PSP Go UMD add-on? I've got a bunch of UMDs. I would love to buy a PSP Go if I could somehow transfer those onto a memory stick and then play them on my Go. The problem with a PSP Go peripheral that reads, you know, UMD discs, is it kind of defeats the purpose of the PSP Go. It's supposed to be this sleek little thing, kind of like an iPod, you know, you keep it keep in your pocket. And now you're going to have this other big attachment to it to read, to play your games off of. It just sounds crazy.